Helen, if I understand this overhead view properly, I'm talking about the two L-shaped buildings in Plan A, you'd have a parking area all along Lime Street, is that right? Yes, that's right. So there would be cars going out in the morning as people drive off to work? There would indeed. Well, you see, lots of local children walk along Lime Street on their way to school in the morning. Isn't it just asking for accidents if we have cars going in and out where primary school children are walking? That's a very good point, Mr. Wellington. Now, as you know, the other access road is Fennel Avenue, which leads out onto the main road. Do you think it would be safer to have the parking area face onto Fennel Avenue? Well, yes, I do. What do you think of that idea, Mr. Clarence? We could move the two buildings a few meters to the south to make space. I don't see any problems from the building regulations point of view. Hmm. Safety is a high priority, of course, but moving the parking area would mean that residents in the south building would have significantly further to walk to and from their cars. In bad weather, you know. That's very true, Helen. After all, we're expecting people to pay as much money for the south building apartments as for those in the north building. Perhaps we could look at Plan C instead. How do you think local residents would feel about the square enclosure layout, Mr Wellington? Well, the thing that strikes me about that is how close the building is to the street. I think the people living in the houses on the other side of the road would prefer the new apartments to be moved back a little more, if possible. Yes, we'd like to see at least three metres between the building and the street. Though I ought to say, that's more of a recommendation than a strict rule. Unfortunately, with Plan C, we don't have the same flexibility as builders. Moving this particular building is a lot more complicated, for various technical reasons. Of course, I admit that for people who live there, that garden area would be very nice. And it's a safe area for small children to play in. Very popular with young families. Well, that's true, but on the other hand... People living in the houses opposite would only see these overwhelming back walls, Helen, which is not so attractive. Don't you agree? Well, I do think we have a great deal to talk about, gentlemen. But how about taking a short break from our discussion? I'd like to show you a video presentation about one of our very successful earlier projects.